What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 13th Java Advanced Tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys something not related to files. Well, actually you could kind of relate it to files if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called tokenization or creating tokens. Uh, so basically in a string we could have a string of characters. I'm going to just type this out, don't type it. Um, we could have Anthony um, has a car. So this is a string and it has four words in it that we could see specifically. But the the program or the computer doesn't actually see it as four words. It sees it as a string of characters. So it sees it as there's a character, there's a character, there's a character. There's a whole bunch of characters here. I don't know how many there are, but it sees it, if there's 18 characters here, it sees it as 18 characters doesn't see it as words. Um, so what if we wanted to split this string up in, into specific chunks or words? So we can actually do this. So if we have a string, let's just hard code a string here. String, uh, I don't know, let's call it my string. And we'll set it equal to, again, Anthony has a car. So now that we have a string, we want to split the string up into um, a bunch of words. So to do this, we have to create something called a delimiter. Now, what a delimiter is, is basically where we want to split the string up. So we want the, to split the string up at every space. So we want Anthony to be a word, we want has to be a word, we want a to be a word, and car to be a word. So we could tell that our delimiter is just these spaces in between the words. <clears throat> so to do this, all we have to do is create another string, and we'll call it delimiter, and we could set it equal to just a space, representing that we want our delimiter to just be a space. <clears throat> so down here, we're going to create an array of strings to hold each individual word that is in this big my string. So we'll call it string, and then we're going to use um, words, and oh, we have to create this an array, make it into an array. String words is equal to, then we go my string dot split, and then we use our delimiter as the splitter. So let me just go over that again. I typed that really quick. So we just created an array of strings to hold each individual word in our string. After that, we're just going to take, since we want to set it equal to the um, string up here, we're going to set it equal to my string. And then in order to split the string, we use a split method um, that's built into the string library in Java. And as the parameter, we use the delimiter that we created up here. So we can make the delimiter anything we want. We could make it a period, we could make it a slash, we could make it whatever we want, but in this case we want it to be a space since there's a space in between each word. So in the end, if we print this out, um, let's make a while loop I guess, while, um, while, or no, 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 let's make a for loop, for loop would probably be better, for int i is equal to zero i is less than words dot length which is a built-in little constant here that stores the length of the of the array and then we could just go i plus plus so this is just a basic way to print out of an array and uh, let's go s out words since we want to print out each individual word we're gonna go words Ooh, what did i do there words i so we could just go and run this now and we should get each individual word on a separate line so we should get anthony on one line has a and car all on separate lines so if we run this there we go anthony has a car so it's treating it as an individual word now and so if i print this out before so if we go s out my string it should print it out all on one line because it's all one string here as you can see it's all on one line because it's treating it as a whole string 
but in this case we divided this word up into different chunks so it has it's all on separate lines so it's a really simple concept and it's actually very useful and again like I always say we could actually use this in game programming to um, I don't know if we have a text file we're reading something in and we need to get rid of and we need to like divide it up into certain chunks this is how we would do it so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial